Hey Geeks, it's Jim at MajorGeeks.com. I want to take a second today to show you how to watch YouTube videos with no ads. It's a nifty little trick that apparently has been around a while. I'm, I'm just getting around to learning about it myself, but it works. It's pretty cool. And I wanted to show you. So what you first thing to do is go to YouTube and find the video with an ad on it. So I've been clicking around an awful lot today. So perhaps um, it's going to take me a little while to find one, but let's just start clicking a video and see. And up oh, first one, we're good to go. So I'm going to pause this ad. So as you've all seen before, you got a YouTube video playing. Boom. You got a, you got an ad shows and you got this, you know, next bar over here to show other videos you might be interested in or other ads that it's going to, going to watch. And you'd like to get rid of those. All you have to do is go up to your, uh, address bar up here and in between the T and the U put a, a dash, just a dash. That's it. And click enter. Once you click enter, it's going to reload the video well you know that's been a thing today so we're going to refresh the page and it's going to reload the video and you're going to see the video in all its glory full screen no ads and no sidebar you will also notice that there's no comments as well it's just the video itself and you can do that all day long and it's completely inside youtube's terms of service the one Thing that caused me concern was here if you look when i when i did that it changed it from youtube.com to youtube-nocookie.com and anytime i see a domain name change that's going to give me some concern as to hey am i playing this through an unknown website is this some other trick are they tracking information yada yada so we want to check it out the way you would look that up is with a who is lookup if you don't know, any domain is registered on the internet with a registrar, and you can look up that information through that registrar through a who is lookup. In this case, we're going to use domain tools. There's a thousand places we could go, but we're going to use them because they got this really cool cursor thing, right? And then just click search, and it'll take a second. And you can see the registers mark monitor. Right. And then we, it's been around here for 5,000 days and 5,600. We're going to go on and see who owns it and who owns it is Google. The registered organization is Google. So it's a legitimate domain name owned by Google that they're allowing you to do this. And through, through some research, it, it actually got its roots in GDPR that I'll write up in an article, but uh, it's a way to share a video without cookies, without tracking, and embed it into the website and or um, uh, share a video that with somebody who may have concerns with privacy or perhaps a school student, those sorts of things, where you want to share it really clean. And uh, that's where it came from. But it's uh, it's completely legal. So like I said, you just simply find a video that you want to watch. And if it's overloaded, all you do is... In between the T and the U, press the dash, click enter, and you have clean video goodness. So there you go. Just a real quick video. Nothing earth shattering. Nothing going to change the world there. Just a way to watch videos with without ads, start by your comment. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you, if you did, give me a like. You know, and uh, until next time, geek it till it megahertz.